Hey everyone, it's Luke from WeldPro. Today, I'm here with another quick tip, and this one's on plasma cutters. Let's talk a little about the air quality you're putting through your plasma cutter. These machines are an absolute modern marvel, and the fact that they even work is impressive in and of themselves. To better explain, let me draw you a picture. First, let's take a look at three different parts. For the most part, every torch is going to have a shield cup, a nozzle, and an electrode. In order to better understand how these components work together, let's look at how they're assembled. First, you have your electrode, okay? Next, your nozzle goes over your electrode. Then, to hold it all together, you have your shield cup. I'm not an artist, so don't be making fun of me in the comments. All right, let's, let's go. go. The electrode and the nozzle are designed so as the air flows down, it becomes a swirling effect. That swirling air has a unique effect which shields these copper components from deteriorating under temperatures as high as 25,000 degrees. Let's not forget, copper melts at only 1,100. And yeah, we're talking Celsius. When you introduce moisture into that air coming through your torch, you are definitely going to accelerate your consumable erosion. Moisture breaks down into two gases, hydrogen and oxygen, both of which accelerate the erosion of your consumables in your plasma torch. So how can you fix this? The answer is simple. Install an inline air dryer between your air compressor and your plasma cutter doesn't really matter what you use and these air dryers are readily available on someplace like Amazon. This is one of those quick tips that's going to save you a ton of time and money. Thanks again for watching. Take a second, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more quick tips coming at you from WeldPro.